Uh, we are a fully licensed Islamic commercial bank, and um, we have we started in 2006, and we have got about 102 branches spread over 49 cities in Pakistan. Uh, the customer base is about 210,000 customers. 88 percent of our deposit comes from individuals or sole proprietors. The asset base is uh, 60 million rupees. We have um, uh, we reported losses in the first three years, first four years in fact. And then uh, we reported a full year pro profit on full year basis in 2010 and 2011 and 2012 has been profitable as well. So in terms of our profitability, return on equity, return on assets, we are actually faring much better than the startup banks that started in 2006. Uh, the Islamic banking industry has got five bank, five dedicated Islamic banks in 12 Islamic windows. In all the five Islamic banks have 65% of the market share, whereas 35% is uh, held by the 12 windows. So that's a significant market share that they command. Um, the customer profile is normally, I mean, uh, contrary to what, what were the expectations that the demand would originate from the rural areas, it has actually come from the urban areas. So in Pakistan, the, the, the Islamic banking customer is mostly an educated person. And um, like in our case, Karachi is the largest market, which is the most competitive city. Uh, advantages, I think, first of all, it's not the appeal of Sharia only. It is, uh, they are basically well-managed banks, and they are more efficiently run. So this is, this is the key driving factor in Pakistan. Unlike others where people were banking on the, on the product authenticity or the demand, None, none of the none of the none of these sorts have happened in Pakistan. I just talked about us being slightly disadvantaged. So, you so like no, I mean uh, we are pretty much okay. I mean it's actually gone in our favor because as a result we have built businesses which are more efficient. Now Dubai Bank is being taken over by Emirates Islamic, uh, and Emirates NBD is the largest bank in the GCC. So that's a good thing. Uh, um, I was with them about three, four years, days back, and their chief executive said exactly the same thing: that Dubai is the regional hub. It not only connects Pakistan to Dubai; it also connects Pakistan to Africa. Because so, so I mean, um, it's a huge opportunity for all of us. It's a, it's been a good experience. Um, uh, frankly, we did not encounter much problem because we were offering better rates and it was very compliant as well. So, but still, there were customers uh, who gave us a difficult time. But I think it was not because of any of any type of banking, be it Sharia or conventional. It was more uh, due to their own willingness to pay, and they they were seeing it as an opportunity that they can extract a better deal out of us. All right, all right. So. So all in all, it's been a good experience. And what lessons have you learned from that? Experience? I think uh, the basic lesson lesson is this: that uh, it is, I mean, they were, whenever you acquired something, there were there are always going to be people who were trying to capitalize on the opportunity, basically to deal, to cut a deal. Um, so next time, if we do it, and if we get an opportunity, we will, uh, we will be more mindful of that. I think uh, Pakistan, the Islamic banks are not competing on the level playing field. The, the turf is actually disadvantageous for us. I just spoke in the conference about the minimum rate of payment that we have to pay to the depositors, which our conventional counterparts do not. And and, why so? Um, I think it's so nobody nobody thought through it, and it's something which has been highlighted, and I'm hopeful that it will be taken care of. Then the treasury products, uh, we do not have as many treasury products. So as a result, uh, the, our earnings from Treasury are negligible or not in the same proportion as we would have from our, in case of conventional banks. So these are the two things that comes to my mind immediately. They are not unique to Islamic banks, so they are applicable to all banks. So if they are inefficient, they are inefficient for everyone. If they are efficient, they are efficient for all of us. We have been we've been growing at 30 percent. So I think in the next five years, in fact, in the next 30, 10 years, it should continue.